What would it take to bet $100 billion on a single project in upstate New York? That's the size of Micron's Megafab plan in Clay, near Syracuse, the biggest private investment in New York's history, and one of the boldest attempts to bring chipmaking back to America. But will it actually succeed? The background. In 1990, the U.S. made about 37% of the world's semiconductors. By 2020, that number had dropped to around 12%, with most advanced chips produced in Asia. This dependence became a national security concern when supply chains broke down during the COVID-19 pandemic. Automakers couldn't get chips, tech companies struggled to meet demand, and Washington realized how fragile the system had become. The Chips and Science Act, passed in 2022, was America's answer. It offered over $50 billion in subsidies to lure companies into building semiconductor fabs on U.S. soil. Micron, one of the world's largest memory chip makers, quickly stepped forward with the most ambitious plan of all, a $100 billion semiconductor campus in Clay, New York. The Big Announcement on October 4, 2022, Micron CEO Sanjay Marotra stood beside Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, Governor Kathy Hochul, and President Joe Biden to announce the deal. Micron promised to build up to four fabs over the next 20 years. The site would cover 1,400 acres and include 2.4 million square feet of clean room space. The scale was almost hard to grasp. Micron said the project would create about 9,000 direct jobs, plus 40,000 additional jobs in construction, suppliers, and local businesses. Economists projected more than $16 billion in yearly economic activity once the fabs were running. For central New York, a region that had seen its manufacturing base hollowed out for decades, this was billed as a once-in-a-lifetime chance at renewal. Senator Schumer called it the most transformative project in the history of upstate New York. Governor Hochul framed it as a reversal of decline. Growing up in western New York, I've seen how the loss of factories hollowed out vibrant communities, she said. Now we are reversing that trend. Filing the plans. Fast forward to September 23, 2025. For the first time, Micron filed a detailed 336-page site plan with the town of Clay. The filing laid out how the buildings would look, what landscaping would surround them, and even how large the company's signs would be. Town supervisor Damian Ulatowski called the filing a critical step because it triggered the official review process by the town planning board. At the same time, the town board will decide on rezoning the last three parcels acquired in 2024. The plan revealed the physical scope of the first fab. Located at the northwest corner of the site along Caudenoy Road, the building will cover 28 acres. For comparison, that's larger than half of Syracuse's Rosamond Gifford Zoo and nearly as tall as Syracuse University's JMA Wireless Dome. If all four fabs are built, each will contain 600,000 square feet of clean room space, 290,000 square feet of clean room support, and 250,000 square feet of clean room support feet of administrative offices. Pairs of fabs will share 470,000 square feet of utility buildings, 200,000 square feet of warehouse space, and another 200,000 square feet of product testing space. The site will also house substations, gas storage, and water treatment plants. This isn't just a factory, it's a city-sized ecosystem designed to run 24-7. Groundwork and Construction Micron has already hired Gilbane Cow, one of the country's biggest construction firms, to start the estimated $1 billion job of clearing and leveling the land. The company plans to begin cutting trees and grading the first 700 acres in November 2025. Clay recently brought on a new planning commissioner, Brian Bender, to manage the process. The town expects to hire several new code enforcement officers as well. In July 2025, Clay signed a reimbursement agreement with Micron so that local taxpayers won't bear the costs of permitting and inspections. Construction of the first fab is scheduled to start by late 2025. Federal funding secured. One reason this project is still alive despite delays is money. In December 2024, Micron secured $6.1 billion in federal funding under the CHIPS Act. Schumer pushed to finalize the deal before the new administration took office in January 2025. I wanted to make sure it couldn't be pulled back, he said. The money is in the bank. That funding, along with up to $25 billion in state and local subsidies, makes this one of the largest publicly supported industrial projects in U.S. history. In exchange, Micron must meet strict benchmarks for building, hiring, and even providing daycare services for employees. The delays and environmental challenges. Still, the road to groundbreaking has not been smooth. The original target for construction was June 2024. That was pushed back multiple times. One key reason has been the environmental review process. 
The 1,400-acre White Pine Commerce Park includes federally protected wetlands. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has to sign off before Micron can clear certain areas. Reports also revealed two endangered bat species in the area. Micron must preserve habitat or purchase land elsewhere to offset the loss. In June 2025, the Onondaga County Industrial Development Agency finally released a 20,000-page environmental impact report. That cleared one major hurdle, but it explains why so many deadlines slipped. Economic and social impact. If built, Micron's Megafab will reshape central New York. Population growth is expected outcome. Analysts project more than 80,000 new residents may move into the state, most settling around Syracuse. That will drive demand for housing, schools, roads, and services. To prepare, Micron, the state, and other partners set up a $500 million community and workforce fund. This fund will target housing, education, and small business support so the growth doesn't overwhelm local communities. Sustainability Goals Micron has promised the New York site will be one of the world's most sustainable fabs. Plans include using 100% renewable electricity, recycling and reusing all water, designing buildings to lead gold standards, and sending zero hazardous waste to landfills. Globally, Micron has pledged to cut greenhouse gas emissions 42% by 2030 and reach net zero by 2050. As part of New York's Green Chips program, the company's environmental commitments are legally tied to its incentives. Will it pay off? For Micron, it's about expanding capacity in the U.S. to keep pace with demand from AI, cloud computing, and advanced electronics. For New York, it's a chance to anchor a new high-tech economy in a region long defined by industrial decline. For the U.S., it's a test of whether the CHIPS Act can actually rebuild domestic manufacturing at scale. But the risks are real. Construction costs are enormous. Global chip demand is cyclical, rising and falling in waves. If demand dips, will Micron stay committed to building all four fabs? Local communities also worry about housing shortages, traffic, and environmental strain. So here we are, a $100 billion promise in a quiet town near Syracuse, a mega fab that could redefine America's place in the global tech race or become another unfinished dream. Will Micron's gamble transform central New York into a hub of high-tech manufacturing? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Because when the first shovel finally hits the dirt and clay, America's biggest chip gamble will begin in earnest.